Well, you had to know this one was coming, right? It wasn't that long ago that I watched the first episode and I just already had to see what happens next. And usually at the start of a video, I have things to say, you know? I talk a little bit about the knowledge I have of whatever I'm reacting to, or my thoughts on what might be coming up, but I don't really, I mean, I, I'm sure there's things I could say, but all that would be is me delaying watching this episode. So, I'ma just put my headphones on, and I'ma hit play. But before we start, I thought I'd let you know that I upload some uncut versions of my reactions over on Patreon. You can also hear me swear fully uncensored over there if that's your thing. There's a link in the description below. There's also a link to my Discord server, which you should join. I would love to see you there. Oh. Boy, it's husband hotel time. <laughs> That's my new catchphrase. Okay, so... It does look so dingy, though. No big deal. Just a little setback. Nothing we can't handle. Just angels got their timetable in half, but who needs a whole year to save souls, am I right? I mean, am I, like... Okay, obviously, the fact that it's happening six months sooner sucks. That's not good. But with that said, does it really change much about logistics? I mean, I know that she's trying to prove her hotel system will work, but ultimately it doesn't seem like they do anything for the extent they don't, they don't prepare. They just kind of get exterminated. Almost as though they've just like resigned to their fates. So I'm guessing then the reason she's particularly stressed about it is because she thought she'd be able to change the system by then maybe? And next time when they cut the time in half again and again- Just keep cutting it. I don't understand why the angels don't just kill them all if that's their thing. You had less than half a chance when you started all this salvation bullshit. Ain't no silver lining this time. Oh my god, okay. I didn't need to see that. The rest of hell is going nuts. People going, are oh. already freaking out about the news. Yeah, see, isn't it kind of messed? I mean, I mean. I'm saying that like the initial thing is not messed, but it's particularly messed to just like have a giant countdown there. The angels are like, we're going to kill you sooner than you thought, actually. And every day, every second, we want you to look up at that clock and know exactly how much time you have. Left. That is, it's, it's sadistic, man. Sinners are desperate. Maybe desperate she... enough to try anything to like a hotel. This is the perfect time to recruit more sinners for the hotel. Cute idea. But oh, I'm guessing the people that go to the hotel are what temporarily exempt from extermination. Because if that's the case, wouldn't literally everybody want to be there? Are you really gonna go out in all of this? Oh, well, gosh. it's not like people are just going to show up on our doorstep. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Everyone would. Never mind. Basic. It's the snake guy. Face my wrath. What you? problem does he have? With I? Who am I? The eggs, they're so cute. Serpentious inventor, architect of this. Oh, are the eggs like his cronies? Ooh, you tell him. <laughs> I love him. Ooh, he's a bad boy. I can't tell if she creeps me out or not. Huh. Well, if all that's true, you'd think I'd have heard of you. I attacked you literally last week. Oh, I didn't he get attacked by him in like the, the pilot or something? Well, you must have been really bad at this. Silence! I still like, I, I have no idea if I like Alistair or not. Like he's just kind of an asshole, but I can't tell if I enjoy it. Now cower, for when I've slain. The demand to cower. TVs will finally acknowledge me the as their equal. Ooh. Wait, who are the bees? Yeah, who, I have no idea. <laughs> oh, are they like a mob? New Vox Tech designer voyeur scopes. Peeping on the neighbors has <laughs> chill ad. <laughs> what the hell? Trust us. Your money. This week. Oh, they're they're looting because they. God, the title. This show, literally, I swear to God. Every time I watch it, there's a point where I go to say something and they get distracted by something, but then I go to say that and then I get distracted by another thing. It's just my poor little brain can't handle all of this. Trust us with your entertainment. What? Who is Fox Tech? <laughs> Trust us. Yeah, I mean, I definitely wouldn't. Trust us. Who's the TV man? That's good television. Okay, okay. Who the hell are you? Hello there, Velvet. How are you? Th okay. I like the character music. I need you up here now. Oh, I remember her voice from a song I reacted to. Boy is wrecking my department while I'm trying to pull together a show. And fucking Who is destroying... Now! Damn it, Valentino! Damn it, Valentino. Isn't that the dude that abuses angel dust? 
It's just, oh god, I just saw the poster of Angelus, but why is their motto just trust us? That's so ominous. What are your thoughts on the new extermination deadline? My dear people, we at Vox Tech Enterprises have always been at the forefront. He is so, like, smarmy. We are shifting our focus to somehow capitalizing on it. We are pleased to announce Vox Tech Angelic Security is coming What? Soon. Trust us. Oh, something. Your safety. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he's literally hypnotizing. Okay, well that's very unnerving. I kind of said finding a way to capitalize it as a joke, but I also thought maybe that's the case, but yeah, I... I I was right. Also, angelic security. Does that mean security to prevent angels getting to you somehow? Or security made by angels? Like, are the angels somehow capitalizing on it too? But if it's the first option and it's to protect against angels, then how do they do that? The angels seem incredibly powerful. Although I definitely don't trust him despite his several commands to. So maybe it's all just a scam anyway. Uh, when did we begin working on angelic when security? Did we? 30 seconds ago. Oh my god. I, I, I bitch Carmilla on the books and cancel all my appointments today. I was literally right. It is he's just a scam artist. <laughs> Did he just zap into the camera? What the hell? I can see you're busy. Tell me, where's our hot-headed friend now? Up in his tower. Is this, are they still talking about Val? What's got him so out of sorts today? Who knows? But he tore up my best model, and you know the show- Tore up? Does that mean li li he literally tore someone apart? Get over here! Die. Man, the magic of this show just keeps throwing me. I don't know <laughs> the, the powers, man. Every so often it just seems like someone can do something freaky deaky and magic. But then also some people are just regular? Or is it like the longer you're here, the more powerful you get sort of thing? Yes, that's the one. Oh, well, looks like you have everything under control here. Of course I do. Fuck you. No shoot. Why so defensive? Take care of the piss baby. Valentino? The music. Why am I tense? I'm kind of on edge. Okay. Fucking oh, what is that guy? Ugh, kitty, another drink. I hate him already. The ungrateful whore. Um, is he talking about Angel? About this time. Fucking Angel. I knew it. Yeah. That God. fucking slut. Wow. Me. I fucking made him. Without me, he's just a bag of meat with some. Oh my god, but uh, okay. I knew that everything to do with Valentino was just like absolutely toxic, but man, I, I still just. I feel like I wasn't prepared somehow. Angel quit? No! He didn't fucking quit! It's worse! He, he moved! He he's, moved. He can just walk. Oh, he's pissed because he went to the hotel? Can you fucking believe that? He thinks he can run off. Dude is so abusive. Angel is living with Lucifer's daughter now? Yeah, in the yeah. hotel. She's got this hotel and which of these makes me look sexier? Oh my god. I, I everything about this guy makes me incredibly uncomfortable. My skin like my skin crawls just to every word he says. You're not going over there. Is he trying to Slippery hypnotize him? To remember who owns him. I'm going to fuck everyone in that rancid shithole. I swear to god. God. Who owns him as well? What do you think chasing whores around town will do for our image? Uh fuck it up. So he's involved in this whole company thing? You still have him under contract. He isn't going anywhere. He's literally just mad that Angel Dust has like even an ounce of freedom. I really wanted to shoot someone. Well, let me call up the lowest earners this month. Oh, the you lowest know me too. Just, they're just gonna kill people for fun. Wait, okay, hold on. At least I feel like people clarified in the comments of my last video that the people in hell don't like cease to exist when they die. It's like the angel weapons or whatever that actually exterminate them. So this is just—I mean, it's—it's just, it's just torture. I guess it's not. At least they're not making someone stop existing. Angel isn't the only one spending time at this ratty hotel with the devil's princess. Oh. Oh, who else is there? He's a TV. Alice does radio. The radio demon is there. Oh, that sound. Alistair came back. How would he not know? I feel like people have been, there's been like a whole attack on the hotel and everything. <laughs> Yeah, like, how would he not be aware of this happening? He's had enough! <laughs> He's got a few more hits in him. What, what is he doing to the guy? Thanks for another fucking. He's just also magic. Oh no, one of the eggs! <laughs> no, that's so sad, I don't want them to die. Thank you for letting your guard down! Oh shit! <laughs> the immediate regret. Okay. Hey man, why didn't you like grab a leg or something instead of just a corner of a coat? Wait, you're leaving? 
Alistair, we need your help. We need you to do your job. We need a wall. What, rebuild it? And he just goes, done. What would the paper say? Oh, he literally did click. Okay. Uh -oh. just... Hey, sweet cheeks. Why is what his immediate doing? instinct to just I try to. Me a man with a giant tool. See? Look at how he flirts. So uncomfortable. Who is that? Oh, he's, je he's jealous of this guy. Fox. He is just deceiving. That fucker. I love how he's glitching on that screen too. It's been seven years. You still pay. Oh, it's this song. So, like I said in the last video, I've listened to just about all of the songs from Hasbun Hotel because of all my reactions to the songs, and this is one of the ones I've heard. So, I'll leave a link to the video that has that reaction in the description below. It's such a dope piano sound though i'm gonna make you wish that i'd stayed gone okay well he seems a lot more evil now in seeing this visual i'm done what's up with the horns bro status quo will know it's form run. why does he look like Coraline's mum <laughs> fuck oh he would have been <laughs> Hearing all that because of the cameras. Our main concern now is ensuring that no deal is ever struck between Lucifer's brat and that smiling freak. Oh, is maybe that's why he's there? Put something inside them. That's how I get the bitches to behave. Yeah. Well, maybe. With all sincerity from the bottom of my heart, fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. Gross. Icky. Well, maybe someone on the inside isn't such a bad idea. Oh, they want to... Do you think Angel yeah, would? Like a spy? <laughs> oh, they're trying to make Angel do it? Someone who Little Miss Bleeding Heart would take in. With no direct eyes to us. I employ every down on their luck. Who are they going to send in? Who's going to... Mm. I think I have just... God, the creepy turn. Who is it going to be? Not a single new recruit. Who would want to use their last days not fucking and fighting? <laughs> Oh! Hello, she just punched him in the face immediately. I mean, I guess fair enough given he did just like blow a hole into the side of the hotel. But I wonder if they specifically chose him not just because like he'll act as a spy for them, but because it might also really annoy Alistair. Why, hello, my dear. <laughs> he seems so cute though. I'm... I come in peace. What are you doing here? <laughs> Baggy, what's I want to be a recruit. Oh. Hello again. Why does she seem so cheery? Charlie's so sweet. People who want to be better. <gasps> you heard right. Welcome to our home of healing, our resort of- That's so cute. I feel like he's gonna start out working as a spy, but then actually just come to genuinely enjoy Charlie and the hotel, think it's a great idea, or maybe change as a person. I hope so, because even though he's weird, <laughs> I kinda like him. Are you fucking nuts? <laughs> This chump was trying to kill us, like, literally six hours ago. Yeah, I was gonna say it seemed really recent. This place is about second chances, and who deserves one more than this? Slithery, <laughs> little squeak. Special little man. Aren't you supposed to be special? Special little man. Uh huh. what the hell? Why is Charlie so freaking adorable? Welcome to the has -been Hotel. Oh, no, darling. He's like, oh my god, someone actually wants me to fit in? This is the bar, and... Bartender. That's such a sad bar. And oh, oh, this, this is... Babe, you don't have to show him every detail. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like maybe he'd be into it. Uh, what the hell am I then? Well, you're an important part of our family here, Angel, but... Yeah, wasn't he like the f their first test? Constantly make us look bad, sexually harass the staff, and have literally never once tried to improve? <laughs> Damn, she's, I mean, blunt, but fair. It's just nice to have someone interested for once. I feel like Sir Pentius is going to end up feeling guilty. We have our maid, Vifty. <laughs> the bad boy is back. <laughs> she has a crush on him. <laughs> we're about 80% sure she's harmless. The sentence, we're about 80% sure she's... I mean, that... I, I can't tell if I'd be reassured by that. I guess it depends on whether I had assessed her to be less than 80% likely to be harmful. <laughs> and over here, we have... Oh, uh, Alice... Oh, sh was she going to show the stairs? You at our newest guest, Sir Pentius. <laughs> Is he gonna be like, oh, I have no idea who you are? You're the one who ruined my coat. Uh -oh. I definitely remember you now. <laughs> he seems legit scared though. Great time for your first lesson. Um, how to apologize. Is he gonna legit apologize? Why don't you give it a try? Yes. Uh, 
Mr. Um, Radio Demon, sir. <laughs> He's so formal. He's adorable. Hacking you and ruining your very lovely coat. Um, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, he gave back the piece? Not many people have been able to take even this much off me. <laughs> it must have meant quite a lot to you. What, was he just taunting him by burning it? I think it's important we all get to know each other, so we are going to play a little game. Every time that I take a second to think about what's happening in the show, I remember how strange all of this is. This is essentially someone that's trying to be a counsellor for literal demons who don't want to be counselled. <laughs> It's so strange. And she's a demon too. She's the child of Lucifer. My name is Charlie. I like to sing. Whoa. And when we get- Oh, Baggy was looking at her so cutely. I love it. But also, Charlie, my God, you're going to make me cringe. When we get to know each other, it's the greatest thing. Oh, God. It's hard to watch. I like to build. <laughs> and despite my stupid egg boys, I think I'm very skilled. Oh, <laughs> he killed her. This is stupid. This is not stupid. With Angel does clap with all hands. I am too sober for this. Well, get used to it and learn how to play. This is going to be your whole day. Uh, uh, I, when I started watching a show about demons in hell, I don't think I ever thought that I would hear them singing basic facts about themselves in order to introduce. This feels like kids at camp. Oh. I'm a bad man on the streets who never got enough hugs. They're doing a play? Where's an innocent kid I can sell crack to? What? Wow. Who wrote this? Yeah. <laughs> right. Keep going. What is the plot here? Oh, me. <laughs> I love how much he commits. Oh, I love it. He's my favorite character already. You look like a kid who could use some devil's dantruff. <laughs> Oh, for fuck. That's gross. I have to go home and study. Come on, kid. It'll make you cool like me. What is this, like, like drug awareness campaign? Like, <laughs> oh. Say no to drugs. Now, if... Whose benefit is this for? Not have sexual intercourse before marriage. What? Yeah. Are these the options? 100% one way or the other? <laughs> At this rate, you'll be redeemed in no time. You're doing nothing. Oh. I... Oh, is Angel Dust getting a bit jealous? He feels replaced, maybe? I mean, he didn't want to put in any effort until someone else got the attention, but I guess, you know, a catalyst for development is still good, right? I am so proud of you, Sir Prentice. That was amazing. Thank yeah. Man, you. That'd be hard for him to hear, given how they talked about him before. <sighs> What's up with the pig? Adorable little pet pig. Angel, baby, come home. It's not the same I hate without him. you here. I'm God. Angel, you... If you don't wow. Come, you will be fucking the crazy flip. truckers for the next year. Hey, I'm Morcito. I didn't mean to yell, but you know how crazy you make me. Oh, God. This is like abusive relationship 101. Works really stressful. Little cocksucking piece of shit. I hate him. I think you can change. Whoa. Attic trash like you doesn't change. What the hell? <sighs> I'll see you soon, baby. Is that like actually some kind of spell or a visual representation of the way his words take hold on it? Also, I just want to say I feel like maybe this is where poison is sung? Sorry, not now. <laughs> the little pig is adorable. Fat nuggets. Damn. Okay. I mean, I was gonna say something stupid, which is, wow, he's got a substance abuse problem, but who knew? Is it Serpentious? Oh, he's, oh, he's gonna find out. Slippery little shit. <laughs> You're working for the V's? Oh my god, is Charlie not gonna believe Angel? I don't know what you're talking about, poor bug. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> and Charlie's gonna see this and assume. Oh my god. Aggressively average body. Aggressively. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> he can hypnotize people too? Charlie is so gonna see it, yeah. This little bitch is a traitor. Oh, and he's drunk, so he's gonna sound like a. Oh my god. You are my best. <laughs> She's in pajamas, it's so cute. And explain this. He's gonna accuse Angel Dust of it. Oh, no, okay. He's just giving it all away. It hasn't even been a day. Please, you've got to get me out of here. Oh my god. Is Charlie gonna take him on board anyway? If they don't kill you, go ahead and do it yourself! Whoa! You miserable failure! That is 
Awful. Just make it quick, I guess. Not that I deserve it. Gladly. Oh, God. Wait. Charlie is like so merciful. It's insane. Good, but you know. It starts with sorry. Oh, this is a song I haven't heard. <laughs> what is blinking? One simple sorry. Oh my God, is it actually gonna like influence him? Forgiveness is a twisting trail of hearts. She is literally a Disney princess, I swear. Sorry is where it starts. She's so cute. Oh my God. Who could forgive a dirtbag like <laughs> me? Okay, I'm back to loving him. Oh my God. Can't we just kiss? Hey, uh, you know, I'm just saying, I, I get that they're angry and have all kinds of, and also, you know, our demons are like, isn't, isn't, isn't Becky like an angel or whatever, but anyway, aren't they out here being all about how people can improve and that, I guess, even by default, they're also saying that they can improve and be better people, so just a thought, don't immediately default to murder. <laughs> Shoot him and spill his Jesus. blood. Oh my god, they look so evil. Oh my god, it's such a beautiful voice! Sorry, sorry. I love that she's actually like giving him a chance. He probably feels valued for the first time. Sorry, <laughs> he's so theatric, I love it. This is so freaking cute! <laughs> sorry. Well that was just nice and happy. Oh, she's annoyed that he's not like an angry bad boy. Good first day. Let's get some rest. Is he gonna be like, damn, you're actually trusting me right now? Ooh, that's Alistair? You'll have to try harder than <laughs> that next time, old pal. Why does Alistair just seem to like be on top of everything? <laughs> well, that was creepy. Okay. I mean, similarly to every time I've seen Alistair on screen until this point, I have no idea if I like him or not. I don't I don't trust him at all. But I don't know if he's good, evil, if I if I enjoy him, he's he's just he's just a big question mark, okay? I will say it is definitely nice to have a clear favorite character. Oh my god, Serpentius is amazing. I know that he's not very smart, that he's kind of slippery, manipulative, and you know, he was a spy and all that, but I think he just wants to change, you know, he he wants someone to appreciate him. And I will be that person, and Charlie will be that person. <laughs> we will defend Serpentius to the death. I think that's enough of that. Uh, I apologize, but you know, I hope you got the message. Don't f with Serpentius or you'll be fucking with me. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you being here and I'll see you next time.